What's up guys, this is Mike from Terrestrial Imaging, and in this video I'm going to show you how to bind the unique H520 and one of its cameras to the ST16S. And the reason we're doing this video is because most ready-to-flys that you may be used to already come with a camera. The H520 currently comes separately, and then you have to get the camera of your choice separately. So they're not going to come pre-factory binded. So in this video, I'm going to use the E50, put it on the H520, and bind it to the SD16S. I'm going to start by taking my E50 camera, and note that the process for doing this is the same with the E90 camera, and I'm assuming when it comes out, the Seago ET. So I got it on, very easy, you just slide it on. Now I'm going to turn this on and save time. I already have my ST16 on. It takes a little bit to power on. And then I have an HDMI cable going out and just ignore that. That's just so that we, we could record the screen. Now this is stabilized. So I'm going to show you, how, show you how to bind it. Now that I got my E50 attached to my H520 and they're both powered on, I just want to note that for this video, we're using the E50, but the process is the same for the E90, and I'm assuming when the e Seago ET comes out. Now we got the ST16S powered on, so I'm going to show you how to bind it. Very simple. You go to the top right of your controller and hit the Wi-Fi button. And now, there we go. Now it's going to search for the E50 camera. It's not going to search for the H520. So with the ST16 and how it communicates to the whole aircraft, is directly through the camera, everything's through the camera. So you notice now that the E50 was recognized, so all you have to do is click on it, and it starts connecting, and this process might take a few seconds, so you just gotta wait, and uh, it's almost there. Just gotta give it a second. Sometimes it takes longer than others, sometimes it's pretty short. Oop, connection timed out. Try it again. I guess that'll happen sometimes. And now you should get a password, and or it should ask you for a password. Now we've already binded this, so it recognizes it and doesn't need a password. But when you get a new one, it'll ask for that, and the password is simply one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. So you just go through the keyboard. It keeps timing out. Up oh, there we go. Got it. So. Eventually, it might not take the first try, but eventually you're going to get it, and it connects, and now, oh, on my screen, there we go. And now you see exactly what the camera is seeing. So that's it, guys. That simple. That's how you bind the any camera for the H520, whether it's the E50, E90, or eventually the Seago ET, to the SC16S. It's very different from the Typhoon H480, Whereas you're only really connecting to the camera and you don't have to rock this thing back and forward. So very simple. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please hit subscribe. You could also find us in our sponsored Facebook group, Mad for Multirotors, and visit us on the web at www.terrestrialimaging.com.